Okay, I think we can start. Uh, hello, everyone. Thank you very much for joining our webinar. I hope you are all doing great. Uh, I'm Ariana, the Partnership Manager of Course of Labs. Today with us, we have Elias and Christopher from Cantega SSO. From our side, there is Robert, our CEO, and also Joanna from the marketing team who is supporting us during this webinar. Uh, as you already know, the webinar will be recorded. We will share with you the recording later. Uh, if you have any questions, I encourage you to ask them during the Q&A session in around 40 minutes. Uh, it will help us to stick better to our agenda. To remind you, first we will listen to Elias and Christopher, who will talk about making Jira easier for the user and while keeping it more secure. Then Robert will tell us how to turn your Jira into an affordable and interactive discussion platform. And after these two presentations, we will move on to the Q&A session. And for asking questions, please use the Q&A button. And that's it from my side, Elias and Christopher, the floor is yours. Okay, thank you. We'll just uh, give us a minute to share the screen. Hi, everyone. Uh... I am, uh, my name is Christopher, and I am a software engineer for uh, Contega SSO, uh, which I've been for about uh, three years now. My name is Elias. Hi, everyone. Thank you for coming. I am the partner manager of uh, Contega SSO, but I have previously also worked with software engineering. Contega SSO is a company based in Trondheim, Norway, and we have been developing single sign-on for Atlassian since 2014. Uh, and now we're going to speak about how SSO leads to better UX and improved security for Jira. So uh, imagine a company with a generic name. We can call them WebCorp. And WebCorp uses IdeaHub on Jira as their company-wide initiative management platform. This means that all the employees need access to Jira so they can submit ideas and discussion to IdeaHub. Uh, and uh, in the day-to-day -day basis, some of the employees at WebCorp use Jira, you know, every day, and others use it only a few times a month. And uh, this is Bob, and uh, Bob works in the sales department of uh, WebCorp. And uh, in a typical day, uh, Bob attends uh, meetings to catch up with his team. He follows up on the sales leads and he does uh, administrative tasks such as emailing sales reports to his boss. He uh, is not a core user of Jira, uh, but he typically uses it uh, maybe once or twice a week. Here we see Bob uh, again, uh, and he has just left a, a sales meeting where he collected some uh, insightful feedback from a customer that he wants to submit uh, to IdeaHub. As he goes to do so, he realizes that uh, he has forgotten his, uh, his password. And uh, when he goes to look for the post-it note that he normally keeps on his uh, desk with the password written on it, he realizes that that too is gone. Uh, this is obviously bad for Bob, but it does not only affect him, it also affects the people around him. You have uh, Ivan, the IT guy in the upper left. Um, and yeah, just a second, I'll enable our Laser pointer. There we go. Yeah, that's <laughs> Ivan, the IT guy. If you hadn't already found him, I think it was pretty easy. But he is not happy with Bob because he has to, to reset his password. Uh, and this has happened before, so he has to do it again. And uh, beneath him is Sven, uh, Sven, the security guy. And he is not exactly thrilled when he finds out about the post-it notes. Um, and uh, Paige, uh, the product owner, uh, she is the one who has to input uh, uh, the feedback for Bob uh, into IdeaHub. Uh, and, and, and she gets distracted from her own work and has to take time out of the tasks she was uh, actually supposed to work on. Um, and while all of this is happening, uh, Bob's team is sitting around and waiting for him <laughs> because he's actually now uh, uh, late for his next meeting. Um, and, uh, and also, uh, lastly, Anna, the accountant, is obviously unhappy about all of this uh, waste of, of, of time and, and resources. Yeah, so this does not look good for WebCorp. A lot of time is wasted and a lot of people are unhappy. 
So what can WebCorp do to avoid this situation in the future? Well, uh, Ivan, the IT guy, he goes into Atlassian Marketplace and he says that, oh, we can install Contagious SO Enterprise. So he installs Contagious SO to Jira and that way he can delegate logins to the integrated Windows authentication that they have. And this is the Kerberos protocol. What this does is that Bob, when he goes to work, he can just uh, go to his computer and write his password and log into the computer. And then he's already logged into Jira. When he visits Jira, he does not have to write any password. He's just man magically logged in. Uh, that's what it seems like for him. But what's really happened is that Contag SSO has recognized that he's logged in and carried his identity to the Windows server. But uh, one issue with uh, the integrated uh, Windows authentication or Cadbros is that it requires Bob to be on the company network, which means he has to be at the office. And Bob, who is a salesman, he often works uh, on the road or from home or even from uh, customer locations. Uh, so he is not always able to use Cadbros to log into to Jira. So um, what uh, Ivan, the IT guy, does then is that he sets up an uh, Azure Active Directory in the cloud. He actually he, he, he puts uh, Bob's user identity uh, for the company up into the cloud, and Bob can then use uh, Contega SSO uh, and log in via the cloud uh, and uh, to his Microsoft account, and then be logged in to uh, his company his company's Jira. This works in parallel uh, with the setup they already have, so that when Bob is at his office, he does not have to enter even a password to go into Jira. But when he is on the road, uh, he's, he's simply sent to, to log into his Microsoft account, and it just works. Yeah, and what's so nice about this is that when he's logged into his uh, email account, he's not only logged into Jira, but also every other service they have that's mm. integrated with that account. So he's just logged in basically everywhere. Uh, but still, there could be, uh, come some challenges up the road. So uh, let's say the WebCorp is expanding uh, and they are acquiring a uh, corporation called OtherCorp. This means that they get new employees and that uh, OtherCorp has uh, their own IT infrastructure. And all of these employees, they need, now need access to WebCorp's uh, Jira and to IdeaHub. So they can also be part of the innovation process that is going on in WebCorp. Luckily, uh, Contag SSO has a feature that helps uh, them with that as well. Uh, so now uh, Ivan, the IT guy, configures a multi-tenant application in the cloud in Azure. Um, that does that uh, both WebCorp's Azure AD and other corps Azure AD can be integrated together and the user can get logged into the correct place. So if you follow my pointer, you can see that Bob, when he logs in, he uh, tries to visit Jira, then Contag SSO takes him to Azure AD. And we recognize that it's Bob, he's from uh, WebCorp. Then it's taken to WebCorp's uh, login page. He just writes his email password like he, he is used to doing, and then he gets access to Jira. Uh, and then Elise, who is from OtherCorp, she also tries to visit Jira. She, she's redirected from Jira by Contag SSO to Azure AD, but since she's from OtherCorp, she goes to their user directory which, with her rights and her uh, user uh, profile, and she's sent to Jira. And for the users, they just log in as usual. They just write their email password. So for them, it's still really simple to use. They just do what they always do every day. Yeah, and uh, throughout all of this, uh, WebCorp uh, human resources and uh, their IT department have had to actually manually create a user account in Jira for all of their employees. And uh, now, now that uh, WebCorp uh, has acquired the uh, other corp and is uh, growing, it's starting to become a bit of a hassle for both uh, both of the departments, and it's starting to take up uh, quite a lot of uh, resources. So uh, Ivan, the IT guy, to solve this, he decides to use something that's called the system for cross-domain identity management. 
That's a mouthful, I know. We just call it skim uh, normally. That's easier. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot easier. Uh, but the point of it is that it takes everything that's happening in the company user directory. Here in the example, uh, we've shown uh, uh, that they use Azure Active Directory with Microsoft as an example, but you can use everything. You can use Google, for instance. And it takes everything that's on there and it copies it uh, over to Jira. Uh, it's, 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 it's that simple. Um, and uh, and uh, uh, the nice thing about this is that it also helps the Jira directory stay up to date. So if something happens in the Azure directory, for instance, I mean, if you create a user, uh, that's that's easy. But if the user is changed or deleted or deactivated or something happens to it in any way, it's immediately ref reflected in, in, in the Jira directory. What this means is that uh, the IT department now only has to create one account for the person, for each employee in the in, in WebCorp, and then they are automatically able to log into Jira without any more meddling. This means that the IT department and the HR department can forget about these tasks altogether and spend their time uh, doing other stuff, which, which is a huge uh, save of resources. Yeah, that's great. So this allows WebCorp to streamline their user management. But uh, like we will learn now, there's also other entities than uh, humans and users that want to access Jira. Uh, because due to an internal initiative, which might have been submitted to Idea Hub, uh, Bob suddenly got inspired to integrate a chatbot service with uh, Jira and Idea Hub to uh, get his team to get more engaged in their collaboration. Uh, and this chatbot service, which is a machine that you know runs somewhere, maybe on Slack, this needs direct access to Jira, so it can pull the information that is from Idea Hub. Uh, but at the same time, Sven Security Guy does not want just a random account laying around with a password that's shared between a lot of people. Neither does he want uh, users to just send their passwords flying all around. That's something that we've been trying to avoid with using SSO in the first place. Luckily, Contagia SSO does have a feature that supports this use case as well. Uh, this is something called API tokens. Uh, API, what's uh, so nice about API tokens is that normal users like Bob uh, can uh, go to his profile and click manage API tokens. And then they can just create the token and it gets a random generated uh, credential that she, he can put into the Slack bot. And the uh, Slack bot will then just make a call to Jira and then it will be authenticated. And this API token is completely separate from Bob's own password. So his password is protected. And the, uh, the, uh, I and the I, Ivan, the IT guy, can also manage the rights of that token. So he can invalidate it at any time. And he can also do other restrictions to make sure that the security is uh, up to speed. Yeah. But uh, what if you need to uh, access uh, Jira while you're behind a firewall on Mars? Well, <laughs> we might uh, not be able to help you, help you with that, uh, actually. Uh, but uh, there are lots of thing, uh, things we can help you with. Um, this year, I'm not going to go into details on this, on this chart, uh, but this is just to give you an idea of how many ways there are to log into Jira if you use, uh, if you use uh, single sign-on. And it uh, and it doesn't really matter if you're a small uh, enterprise with uh, with maybe two employees uh, who work together, or if you're an international corporation with tens tens of thousands of employees. Uh, however, however you need to access Jira, there's always a solution to use SSO for it, uh, which means that you can uh, forget about uh, the passwords and uh, make user management a lot lot simpler. Yeah. Uh, and so uh, with all these flows, let's just uh, go back and visit the example and the case we were uh, speaking about previously. So what really happened to Bob and WebCorp after they started using Contagia SSO to access Jira and Idea Hub? In the previous uh, event, uh, Bob had to remember passwords for a lot of services. He had to remember uh, his password to the Atlassian suite, but also to Slack and HubSpot and yeah, who knows how many is the different soft kinds of software he uses in his daily work. Uh, and that's really hard. I mean, the human brain is really limited. How can we remember like a ton of passwords? 
Uh, and now we want to uh, take another poll and ask you guys a question. Uh, how many different services do you log into for work? So we can see if we can get a poll up now. Uh, yes, I'm launching it now. There it is. Very nice. nice. And this can be during a day, during a week, during a month. The time frame doesn't really, really matter. Uh, we kind of after how many passwords and username combinations you you have to remember um, to get a, a picture of uh, where you're at uh, uh, currently. Yeah, because uh, what really would happen in the case where you have to remember, you know, 50 passwords would be that you had like a book of passwords yeah. or a bunch of uh, post-it notes like Bob. Uh, or it would be the same password all over the line in all. And that would also mean that it's all it's compromised. Yeah. So the, the post-it note thing is kind of a cliche. OK, there's the results. Um, so yeah, about half is at zero to three and half is about four to ten. I think uh, I think that's a, quite a normal distribution. Yeah, I think so, too. And I think also that um, a lot of uh, people could also have more than 10 if they are involved in a lot of different processes. Uh, so yeah, then it will be uh, quite hard, at least if you want the password to be secure, you know, mm. then it will be hard, generally harder to remember. Uh, so uh, when Kaltega SSO has been introduced into WebCorp, uh, life is a lot easier for Bob. Now he just has to remember his email password which he does remember because he is a salesperson and he writes a lot of emails. And when he enters, logs into his email, Contega SSO brings his identity to the Atlassian suite. So he can log into Jira to access Idea Hub. He can log into Confluence to uh, write on the internal wiki pages and whatever else is around there. And what's also so nice is that SSO uh, is centralized and gives you access to also other services like Slack or uh, if you're, they're using Teams chats or yeah, anything mm. really. Uh, and now let's revisit Bob and his uh, team. So let's say that we are now are six months after WebCorp started using Contega SSO. Uh, what's life like now in WebCorp? Well, Bob is uh, delighted because he now can just freely ac access idea hub and he just loves posting his ideas he loves to be get engaged in discussions uh, ivan the it guy over here is also really happy because he hasn't heard from bob in over six months <laughs> that's a uh, that's really a relief for him sven the security guy is uh, glad to see that there's no more post-it notes flying around the office because that was really frustrating for him in the past page the product owner does not have to be necessarily disturbed by Bob anymore. And she can focus on uh, leading her team instead and just do the, the good work. Anna, the accountant, she sees that the productivity has gone up. There's not so much hassle with passwords anymore. Uh, and to the pleasure of Bob's team, Bob has stopped running late to the meetings, which was a challenge when he just had a mess with, with his passwords. Yeah. I think uh, to, to sum it up, uh, the big difference uh, uh, from in WebCorp from uh, when they didn't have SSO to when they chose to install SSO uh, is that uh, their the user experience of, of using Jira, which is a, a core tool for the organization, has uh, improved. So their employees are more happy. And they've also managed to increase their security uh, by making uh, it uh, it's uh, easier to to not leak secrets uh, to uh, to unauthorized people yeah and you can also when you have a centralized azure ad instance within one identity you can remove that person's access as soon as you don't want them to access anything and that also does that you don't have to remove user accounts you know on all different yeah. services so, so in short better experience more security it's that easy i think uh, that just about uh, sums it up for uh, for now at least uh, and we'll give the word uh, over to to robert yes 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 thank you guys uh thank you a lot so uh, uh single sign-on with contega is something like a 
uh, great uh, thing for uh, specifically larger organizations when you have a lot of users, a lot of hassle of passwords, remembering that and productivity. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Uh, so uh, let's go a little further and let me share my screen now. Uh, what I will tell you is uh, something about uh, Jira. Uh, yeah, we're, we're talking all about Jira, but can you see my screen, please? Uh, tell me if, if it's if it's coming coming okay I yeah, think we can it, see. it's working uh, fine thank you so we have a Jira first of all nice product but it has a lot of features like a dashboards projects uh, filters boards and so on and for some users it can be too much specifically if you have some use cases that can be easily handled. I would like to introduce two products today. And at the end of this webinar, I have a small gift for you. Okay, so stay until then. So first of all, Jira is pretty hard for users who are not technical. Uh, there is a lot of features that are rarely used. Uh, the forms in Jira or screens are somehow uh, overwhelming for users. So what we can do is to simplify that. We found out a way to simplify that in a, a matter very similar to a Jira uh, service management customer portal. We are introducing two products. One is Idea Hub. Idea Hub is a portal that is designed to simplify user experience from Jira and let users focus on uh, productivity on creating ideas on having information in the right place. So what we can have, we have multiple portals that can group ideas, group some uh, things you would like to introduce, like a product improvements or new features and so on. Uh, and it works on Jira and has two nice features. First of all, it's very simple. You can click and log, see all the products, ideas in one place without all the uh, hard uh, settings like uh, dashboards, like uh, filters, like uh, issues and so on. Pretty simple, pretty easy. So let's click on this and we have uh, some stuff. Yeah, you can simply click, for example, this one. And uh, first of all, you can vote for that. If you don't like it, unlike it. And you can add a comment or respond to a comment. You can reply to that. It's a simple reply to the comment. It's uh, here, pretty nice. Uh, and uh, you can, of course, uh, like or dislike, like on Facebook, uh, to uh, make auto know uh, if you like it, the product idea or no. Uh, so it's pretty, uh, pretty uh, nice thing if you would like to have all the users not hassled by Jira features. Uh, how it works? You can create a multiple portals. Uh, we have four portals here. Every single portal is grouping some ideas for some specific uh, for some specific uh, problem. Let's say every single idea is very similar. It's very simple. It's just a, a summary, description, and attachments. You can attach like okay, files or uh, screens or mockups, whatever. You can vote for that if you like it, or vote down if you don't like it like other users, uh, then you can comment it uh, as an improvement question or ask a moderator because we have moderators in the forum. If you don't like the very uh, depressing uh, black or, or dark, dark theme, you can switch it to a light one. Okay, let's save the energy with this one. Uh, pretty, pretty nice and pretty simple. If you would like to create new idea, it's, uh, you just go to product ideas portal and try to find out what you, are, what you would like to do. 
first. For example, you are lo looking for artificial intelligence uh, software, AI software. Let's check out. Okay, we have some other ideas already found. So you can use one of them, read it. Oh, it's not this. Uh, so you can create a new idea, like a clicking plus button or going back here, AI, sorry, AI software and create new. AI software, it will be new feature of a pivot. We have uh, doing uh, changes in our product. So we create and it's there, it's ready, but it's all out now in draft. If you are a moderator, you can click and publish it to be visible by other users and eligible for voting. After you get the ideas, well, you can go to Jira and help management team to in a in a product and help management team to uh, assess the ideas with assess, uh, assessment management it's a pretty nice feature allowing you to have all the ideas you can create a product voting session okay add uh, some people who will uh, Vote it. I'm admin. Select assessment method and submit. Then we will add items to ideas uh, to this voting session. Let's make it four items to the voting session. Okay, and we can start session. All the assessors will be notified and will be will have access to assessment center. They have some sessions. They can vote. This idea is must. Oh, we can check this one. What is it? Okay. This idea is a uh, should. This one, we can read it. This one is could. And this one is something we don't really want for now. When you are done, you click simple done finish session and then ideas are uh, ordered by the voters so you can have a voter voting session and then you will see what is most likely you can decide this idea to accept to be backlog and of course the idea uh, okay this one is backlog this one is also to roadmap but this one is, uh, we well, don't do those two. Okay, go to any one of the ideas uh, and we can see it in idea portal or if you like it, you can see the same issue in Jira because every single idea is a Jira issue. So uh, all the features that are introduced in Jira like workflows, custom files, or uh, any others, uh, things will work properly so pretty nice thing to do that how to create that idea portal is also pretty simple uh, first of all create a project oh anyhow it doesn't matter which one really like a project management now and now we will cre create something new idea portal portal NIP and one, okay, and NIP one. We have it, and then it's pretty simple. One click if you would like to have a portal configuration. We are enabling Idea Hub, activate Idea Portal, and we have some undergoing configuration, but just leave it for now because we can save it and go to portal now your idea portal is ready you can configure it further according to documentation 
or uh, use it uh, as a standard one. Do you like it? I think so. Uh, and the other thing is another way of making Jira easier uh, is the question, how to uh, build a, a community in your organization? What, tool, what, tool, what tools do you use to build community? Uh, different people will can respond, oh, we are using a Confluence, uh, or we are using um, Slack, or Microsoft Teams, or we are using uh, other software like Reddit, or creating our own uh, development software. Uh, but uh, Jira has a great features that allow you to extend it, and we, we built it for communities. It's another way of Simplifying Jira is communities for Jira. Uh, it's another product we built. Uh, it's pretty similar uh, to Idea Portal. So uh, to Idea Hub, uh, you can have a multiple communities. You can ask a question. And you can check the questions. So start discussion. How to get and gift a gift ah okay i like your gifts how to get one okay it's a it's a post you can create it and all the users will be notified on that sorry Will be notified. Okay, what is how to get a gift? Is a draft now, so I can uh, publish it. You can. Oh, everybody want to have a gift, but you can respond it. Okay, attend that webinar. To get a gift, uh, if you like it, you can make it as a resolution of your post, so the other users will be notified that. This is already resolved. It's pretty nice for developers, for business people, for all the people who would like to build a pretty simple interface on Jira and use it uh, as a community forum. And okay, question for now, who would like to get a gift? Okay, on the chat, no one wants to want the gift. Okay, you are so shy. Uh, so what is the gift for today? Thank you for being here with us. And the gift is uh, this product, I believe you like it, is completely free of charge for your server. So you can go simply to uh, Marketplace. So Marketplace at Lazen.com. You can find it out at Communities. Would you share the link, Robert, on the chat? Uh, sorry? Could you I, share the yeah, link? I, I will share the link, okay? That's and you great. can click Communities and it's a free of charge application. You can download it and use it anytime, forever, for free. Okay, so I will be sharing that with you. If you like it, please download it. What is the Communities? Is the simplifying Jira by giving users simple interface to uh, post ideas, uh, post uh, questions, uh, articles, and so on. But please also uh, not be, be informed that if you only need access to this portal, you don't go to Jira, you don't need a Jira license. You don't have to pay for the Jira license if you would like to have access to community portal or to Idea Hub. It doesn't require any and the spendings on Jira just to uh, just for having access to those portals. So I, I think it's something you can consider to make your user happy, to bring new features to company, uh, and so on. Uh, so uh, it's very, very quick, quick uh, stuff. Uh, and we have it uh, done. So. Uh, if you have any questions, you can add it now uh, to Q&A 
section of this uh, of this webinar. Uh, so, uh, Ariana, floor is yours. Thanks very much, Robert, for the interesting presentation. Uh, we already have one question asked before by an attendee. It's the question to you, uh, Elias and Christopher. How are the different? How are difference between Cantega SSO versus other system management tools? Yeah, and uh, and uh, thank you for uh, for the the question. Uh, that's a good question. Um, I think uh, I think the most important uh, difference, if you start comparing us to to other tools that try to do some of the same stuff, is that we are a a comprehensive all-in-one solution. So you can use us no matter, uh, as we kind of talked about in, in, uh, in the presentation before, no matter if you're a really small company or if you, if you are a huge international corporation, uh, in both of those, case, those cases and everything in between, uh, we, we are actually a good fit for your company if you need some kind of, of a single, single sign-on or authentication mechanism. And, and I think that's the big difference that we are able to to grow uh, with your company, um, um, uh, because we have we have uh, all of the basic stuff and we have all of the advanced stuff, and we are able to work, uh, especially. And I think that's that's the big challenge for a lot of other tools. We are able to work in very complex and and complicated uh, uh, IT infrastructures and and difficult network conditions. Is that, uh, that yeah. sums it up, I think? I think so. Yeah, that's great. Thank you very much for answering. So we are awaiting other questions now. Yes, I hope that answered your question. Yeah. Thank you very much, Hubert, for your comment. I'm happy you liked the presentation about single sign-on and uh, and about idea hub and communities. So let's wait a moment more for other questions. Yeah, don't be shy. Just just <laughs> ask us anything. We are here now. So if you're curious, this is the chance. Okay, so I see no more questions for now. So thank you very much, Christopher. Thank you very much, Elias, for such an interesting presentation. I think all of us know some bobs or heard about them. So your solution really can make life easier. And thank you, Robert, for the presentation about Idea Hub and Communities. Uh, thank you to all of the attendees. I wish you a nice evening. And please follow our social media. We will keep you we will keep you informed about our future events. So thank you very much and have a good evening. Bye bye. Bye everyone. Yeah. Thank you everyone and and goodbye. Good evening. <laughs>